and finally we have reached vietnam this is the empty vietnam airport and we reached at 9 am and okay there are some people we are not the only ones in the airport we ate so much in vietnam i loved their food this is from the buffet in the cruise Biden, that is the pagoda, largest pagoda in Vietnam. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Dia, and as from the title, you can know that today I will be talking about uh, my Vietnam trip. Uh, so I visited Vietnam in uh, this year, June 2022. Like it was six months back, but I was planning to doing this video for a long time. But finally, I got it right now. So in this video, I will be talking about how to get your visa, like where to book your tickets, like uh, and you know the immigration process and whatever basically you need before you actually go to Vietnam. So yes, today's video is all. about like the planning journey how i plan my trip and everything and let's start so the first thing that you need is a visa so in for us indians there are two options one is an e visa or you can get visa on arrival as well so both are valid for 30 days like uh, you can visit stay there for 30 days uh, but i opted for e visa because before going i checked on the internet saw some vlogs and i saw that e visa process is very easy and i didn't really want to uh, like go to the airport stand in the line fill up the form and you know for visa on arrival so i opted for the e visa process uh, and i will be doing a separate video like step by step how you do your visa and everything if it is already live i will put it in the i section and in the description box as well i will put the video uh, but overall the best part about this uh, e visa for vietnam is that you don't need to book your uh, flight or your hotel before actually getting your visa so you don't have to you know uh, spend money on your flights and wonder if your visa will be approved or not so that's the great part visa you just need your passport details and make sure that your passport you know, is ha uh, having a more than 6 uh, month of validity and you also have to know that which will be your entry city and which will be your exit city in vietnam because that is mandatory to write in the e visa uh, and yes that's it and you have to pay it online you have to pay 25 usd so that is approximately like 2000 or 2200 rupees in our currency inr and yes that's it done in my case i got my visa within 48 hours and my trip actually was a very abrupt one i planned the trip just 15 min uh, just 15 days before my actual journey so i was a little bit skeptical if i will get my visa or not but uh, i applied 15 days before my journey and within as i mentioned 48 hours i got my visa and after that i started my next plan have your visa approved you have to move on to your flight tickets and book them so, so for flights the best website is sky scanner so if you don't know about it already sky scanner basically is a website which compare prices for all of the other website where you actually book it from like you know make my trip is my trip like these kind of website and they have like international website and everything they compare everything there you just have to put the date and you have to put the entry city and like from which city you are going to which city and that's it they will mention everything down below so from there i noticed that i was traveling from hyderabad so for that i noticed that from hyderabad there was one flight which was going via bangkok to hanoi hanoi was was our entry city and the layover time was a uh, one or one and a half hours which i thought that it might be a little bit hectic to you know run in a different uh, country in a different big airport in bangkok airport to get to our next flight so i didn't opt for that instead of that i opted for an air asia flight which was going from directly india to hanoi but it was from mumbai so in june itself there were two flight routes uh, that started from india like one was from delhi one was from mumbai so that was like uh, directly to vietnam so i opted for that one so like our immigration and everything was done in the mumbai mumbai international airport itself and we came back from ho chi minh to mumbai also so our ticket was 19000 per head it was including the luggage and uh, it just you have to make sure one thing that air asia is a very low carrier like cheap flight basically so whenever the price you see on their website whichever you are booking it from it will show only your uh, hand luggage and not your check in luggage and obviously you have to like most of us at least i had it needed to get my check in luggage as well so there was an option to pay uh, around 3000 3500 rupees for 20 kg of luggage so i opted that as well and uh, for both the journey like to and from both the flights i had booked the extra luggage and uh, with the luggage and everything my flight costed us uh, 19000 and again like it was a last minute trip so i think i booked it was like uh, 11 or 12 days uh, i think like less than 2 weeks before our trip so if you book uh, much more advance like at least a month before your journey i think you will get it much cheaper than that
we booked from the website trip.com so that was the first time booking from that website it is an international website uh, but yes it was a good one like i didn't have any hassle or any, anything so other than the main flight from india to vietnam and back to india there was one more internal internal flight that we had to take from hanoi to ho chi minh city so that also we booked like searched via sky scanner and we booked via trip.com and uh, that that was like some domestic uh, airline i don't know the name of the airline but that costed us around i think 6000 per head like it was just a one way journey and uh, you could get a flight tickets cheaper than that as well like again if you book a little bit more in advance or if you book at that time of the day but since we had to uh, book at night because i wanted to uh, spend the whole day uh, visiting hanoi places so i booked at night and the 6000 was including food as well and the flight was actually really nice and yes that's it and i will also mention like the sky scanner website down below in the description you can definitely check it out a very helpful website and after flight is done i had to move ahead with my hotel booking so i booked via booking.com so i really had good experience with this website like this app basically booking.com so all of my previous international trip was also booked via booking.com so this time i also opted for that but again you will get uh, other uh, options in make my trip go ibibo agoda and you know different websites as well so you can definitely check out all the websites so our uh, plan was to stay 3 days 2 uh, days in hanoi 2 uh, days in uh, ho chi minh and one day in a cruise in a halong bay so uh, the one in hanoi we booked a hotel tyrant so that is actually a four star hotel as far as i know and that's a very nice hotel like i really really love the hotel like the service was very nice the view was very nice and you know overall everything was good and so the room that we chose was uh, with a balcony so that cost it us a little bit extra and with breakfast uh, that was 5000 per night for two people which uh, and with the service that i got and the location was old quarter which is like you know a very center of the city you will get everything from uh, so there were like food stalls and uh, like shops and everything was just within you know walkable distance so definitely you can uh, if you are planning to book definitely you can book in this hotel or any hotel nearby that is an old quarter and yes and for the next hotel that was in ho chi minh so we booked the hotel that was a uh, hotel zen hotel uh, sorry cochin zen hotel uh, the location was first the location was district 1 which is again a very happening district uh, the hotel that i was in there were like lot of shops and everything lot of places to go the independence palace and everything was also just you know walkable distance the ban thang market which is a you know fam- very famous market in ho chi minh for their cheap prices clothing and everything so that was also like two blocks from our hotel uh, the hotel itself was uh, not bad but uh, Uh, but there was like some issue with the ac and everything but anyway they uh, solved it the next day and that cost it us 4500 per night for two people guys vietnam is a very cheap country so you will get uh, hotels at very different prices like if you want if your budget is within 1000 rupees you will get hotel within 1000 rupees as well so you know you don't have to worry about that part and for example like the day that we are coming back from the cruise uh, so our flight was at at 8 pm uh, or uh, our flight was at 9 pm at night and we came back to uh, hanoi uh city itself i think around 12 or 1 we reached the city so we had a lot of time to go we had our luggage with us so what we did was there in the um, bookingmy.com in booking.com app, app itself i saw that there are some like uh, cheap uh, hotels as well so uh, we booked a hotel for just 600 rupees like you can't even imagine 600 rupees but that actually was a very nice hotel like obviously it was not like a four star five star hotel it was a standard hotel but if you want to spend just a few hours there were a proper bathroom and like uh, rooms and everything it was nice and plus the reception uh, like people and everything they were also really nice so again that means like if you if you can book hotels according to your budget there are multiple multiple hotels there and uh, once these two are done uh, next thing you have to get is your travel insurance so travel insurance actually was not mandatory uh, but i i preferred that after you know 2020 it is better to get a travel insurance because it won't cost you much so the website that i chose was policybazaar.com i will mention uh, down below so from there there were multiple like uh, you can opt for tata reliance and there were you know multiple insurance there so we opted for a uh, reliance travels insurance uh, so you just have to mention the country you are going and the dates and for us it costed uh, 580 rupees per person and uh, the sum insured was uh, 100000 usd 
uh, travel insurance. So yes, we got that as well. Last thing that we did was we saw that there is an option to get to a cruise like you can stay for one night or two night as well in Halong Bay cruise. So I personally really liked the idea and we booked it via like before actually going there. So the hotel, uh, so we booked it via halongbaytours.com and that was actually a luxury cruise and I know the price was quite uh, like steep. Again, like there are multiple, you know, tours as well. If you want to like, we personally opted that we will stay night at the cruise, uh, but someone can, you know, go there and come back in Hanoi as well. So that is also an option there. So the one that we booked costed us uh, 322 USD, which is almost 27,000 in our currency, INR. And uh, that included like uh, the day, the transfer that we were going from Hanoi to uh, Halong Bay, which is around like 50 kilometer. So we had the shuttle as well. We had our guide with us um, and there were like some activities. They would take us to some caves and everything. Uh, we had like lunch, dinner, snacks, next day breakfast, next day lunch. So everything was included. And overall, like I personally, I feel like 27,000 was worth it for me. But again, there are different prices for cruise. You can definitely check it out. And yes, that is how I booked my Vietnam trip and all the other day trips like, uh, you know, we went to uh, visit whichever places like Chuchi Tunnel and like different places. So everything we booked uh, locally, like uh, after going there, we were just, you know, walking alongside. We saw there are multiple travel agents, agency like shops there or, you know, you can ask your hotel. So everything was booked locally and those were like quite cheap, I would say. And uh, they, you can also obviously book it beforehand as well in cooks.com and there are like multiple other websites as well but I, I would say that it's better to you can just go there and talk to them directly because there is like a lot of bargaining happen, happening there as well. Like uh, for one tour, I think they asked for 90, uh, 90 USD and finally after bargaining and everything, I think it came down to 50 USD. Uh, so you can imagine bargaining happens a lot and uh, one thing that I missed was that I couldn't visit uh, Hoi An uh, and Da Nang. So these are the two places that I missed because our trip was a little bit short. It was just five nights and six days trip so i would suggest that if you get the time uh, take uh, for a 10 day go for a 10 day trip and include these two places as well and overall like the people and everything they, they were very nice i didn't personally have any language problem like any shop you go to uh, I, they, I won't say that they speak uh, fluent English, but the English that they speak, that is quite uh, like you will be able to understand it properly. I personally didn't have any problem with anyone. And yes, that's it about this one. Uh, next video will be my e-visa process, how to get your e-visa. And uh, after that, I have like booked, uh, like I have vlogged my whole trip. So maybe I will do the cruise trip and what all places I visited and all. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any question regarding a uh, Vietnam trip or, you know, anything else like hotel flight bookings or anything you can definitely leave it in the comment section below i would happy to answer you all and don't forget to follow me on my instagram as well and take care guys bye